Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm taking an orphan block. I made this in a previous video. I'll have the information below. And I'm just gonna take this one little block and I'm going to turn it into a pillow. You can do this with any quilt block. I'll be using some scraps and hopefully when I'm done, it will be a scrappy, pretty pillow. Let's get going. I'm starting with a quilt block that is eight and a half inches. So I pulled out some scraps that I thought went along with the pink. I wanted to incorporate some green and blues. And I just started working around my quilt block using the strips. I added a couple strips, then I would press and I worked on adding strips until this block was about 13 inches. After adding strips, I wanted to square up my block and I used a large quilting ruler and I adjusted that ruler. I tried to follow the line, my seam lines and the block lines because sometimes when you add a bunch of strips, things tend to get sort of off balance, especially the strips here that I used were not all exactly straight. So after I did that, I am going to figure out how to put this block on point and I'm going to use some newspaper. So I laid my block on the ruler. There's a line on the ruler, a diagonal line, so I can kind of figure out what size square I need. And I gave myself about a half an inch at each corner there and the size block I need to cut is 12 inches to get that triangle for the corner of this quilt block. So I drew a 12 inch square on my newspaper. Newspaper is what I have. Um, any paper works. Thin paper is the best because I'm going to be using this as um, I'm going to be sewing on it as a foundation. And then I just cut that in half diagonally and now I have two triangles and I need four of these 
triangles for the four corners of my pillow. Now I'm going to add strips to my triangle starting with the larger side. I pin down the first strip and then I'll add the next strip and then I'll just cover that triangle with strips and trim it when I'm all done. This is a foundation. I like using foundations because it gives me the size that I need. It's not necessary, but um, for me, this is really a great way to do it. And when I, after I add all of my strips, I'll pre well I'll press as I go along. But after I add all of my strips, I will trim following the foundation using the foundation as my guide. And here are my pretty triangles. I really like the way they turned out. This is going to be a really fun, happy, scrappy pillow. So I'll add my triangles all the way around and then I'll trim it up and we'll turn it into a pillow.
It's not necessary to quilt this pillow top, but I do like adding batting and quilting. I think it makes a nice finished looking pillow. So I'm using some batting scraps. I just put them really close together, right next to each other, and used my spray adhesive. And now I will quilt those two layers. And I just quilted lines around and around that little quilt block. I did not quilt in the pink and white quilt block. I might go back and do something there, but I left it. I'm just going to quilt lines all the way around that pretty quilt block. After trimming my batting, I looked for a piece of fabric for the back and I like a sturdier fabric. This was a really pretty vintage piece. Or I was trying to decide maybe I would do this piece of fabric, but I decided on this pre-quilted pink for the backing. It, part of the reason was it was almost exactly the right size. So. Since I didn't have a plan for this soft pink quilted fabric, I thought, well, they must have been meant to be together when they're the, the, exactly the right size. I pinned right sides together, I sewed around the outside, and then I put a pillow inside. Really fun little project. Uh, was fun to put all those scraps together. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.